Positive Attitude Building Presented by Open Analytical Quality Assurance Manager Or, Dusto, My, His Presentation Ka, Reader Who, Dusto, His Presentation May, Positive Attitude Building, Kbare, May, Bataya, Gaya Ha In this topic you will be introduced to Learning Objectives What is an Attitude? How Attitudes are Formed Job Related Attitudes Challenges in Building Positive Attitudes What is an Attitude? Attitude is a state of mind. Your attitude is your mindset. It is the way you look at things mentally. Attitudes are evaluative statements. They indicate one's feelings either favorably or unfavorably to persons, objects and or events. Attitude are evaluate statements. Attitude reflect how one feels about something. Example when someone says I like teaching he is expressing his attitude about his work. How attitude works. It is a cognitive and effective evaluation that predisposes a person to act in a certain way. Cognitive. Effective. Behavior. Components of attitudes. Cognitions, thoughts, affections, feelings, behavior, actions and reactions. Three components of attitude and examples. Cognitions, my job is interesting. Affections, I love my job. Behavior, I am going to get to. Work early with a smile on my face, my intention to act. Definition of attitude. Attitude is defined as the persistent tendency to feel and behave in a particular way towards some objects, persons, or events. the salient features about attitudes. Attitudes are related to feelings and beliefs about people. Attitude is a response to persons, objects or events. Attitudes affect behavior positively or negatively. Attitudes undergo changes. Attitudes affect perception, and in turn, behavior. Attitudes are form direct learning and social learning. Attitudes are not inherited. They are acquired or learned by people from the environment in which they interact. The formation of attitudes is broadly classified into two sources namely, direct experience, social learning. Process of learning attitudes from Observation Direct Learning One's direct experience with an object or person serves as a powerful source for his or her attitude formation. In other words attitudes are formed on the basis of one's past experience in concerned object or person. Process of Learning Attitude From Observation Social Learning the process of deriving attitudes from family peer groups religious organizations and culture is called social learning. In social learning a person acquires attitudes from his or her environment in an indirect manner. They acquire it mainly by observing their models. Process of learning attitude from observation social learning continued. Attention focus on something. Retention what observed must be retained. Reproduction behavior must be practiced. Again and again. Motivation learner must be motivated. To learn from it. Role of 
culture in attitude formation. Culture plays a definitive role in the formation of attitudes. Example, Sri Lankans earn for future requirements. Americans for that matter earn to enjoy the present. Three types of job related attitude. Job satisfaction, individual's pleasurable or positive emotional state toward his job. Job involvement the degree to which people immerse themselves in their jobs, it is identifying with one's job. Organizational commitment it is about employees loyalty towards their organizations it is identifying with one's organization. Job satisfaction is related with five specific job dimensions pay, work itself, promotional opportunities, supervision, co workers, job involvement. It is the degree to which employees immerse themselves in their jobs, invest time and energy in them, and consider work as central part of their overall lives. Such employees tend to be high performers and seldom tardy and get absent. Organizational commitment. It is an attitude about employees commitment to the organization. It is the process by which an employee identifies with the organization and want to maintain membership with the organization. What is positive attitude? Attitude is the way you communicate your mood to others. The way you perceive the world and your position in it directly affects your dealings with others. A positive self-image will reinforce and improve both professional and personal relationships. Attitude is your mental. Focus on the outside world. Like using a camera you can focus or set your mind on what appeals to you. You can see situations as either opportunities or failures. Examples. A hot summer day may be beautiful or ugly. A departmental meeting is either interesting or boring. Are you aware of this? When you are optimistic and anticipate successful encounters, you transmit a positive attitude and people usually respond favorably. When you are pessimistic and expect the worst, your attitude is often negative and people tend to avoid you. Quite simply you take the picture of life you want to take. Emphasizing the positive and diffusing the negative. Emphasizing the positive and diffusing the negative is like using a magnifying glass. You can place the glass over good news and feel better or you can magnify bad news and make yourself miserable. Magnifying situations can become a habit. If you continually focus on difficult situations the result will be exaggerated distortions of problems. better approach. Imagine you have binoculars. Use magnifying end to view positive things. Use the other end whenever you encounter negative elements to make them appear smaller. Once you know to highlight the positive you are on the right road. What can we learn from this? Think more about the positive things and try to make use of the positives to drive your life. This means that you have learned to alter your imagery to highlight the positive. This means that you are on the right road. Remember, 
unless you are on constant guard negatives can slip into your mind which make your mind time spent on difficulties rather than on opportunities. If negative factors stay around for a long time they will be reflected in your disposition. The positive may be still there but may be overshadowed by the negative. Challenge. Push the negative factors to the outer perimeter of your thinking. Those who will learn the trick will reflect it and others will notice it. Of course. No one can be positive all the time. Excessive optimism is not realistic. Positive attitude is not an act. It must be genuine. How to measure attitudes. Self-report, indirect tests, direct observation techniques, psychological reaction techniques. How to change attitudes, filling in information gap, use of fear, resolving discrepancies, impact of peers, the co-opting approaches. Remember, attitude is never static. It is an ongoing, dynamic perceptual process. Summary, as we have learned that attitude is more important than any other element when it comes to ensuring success. Attitude is defined as the persistent tendency to feel and behave in a particular way towards some objects, persons, or events. To build a positive attitude that ensures success we need to fill our mind with positives and push the negative factors to the outer perimeter of our thinking. In order to build and maintain a positive attitude, we must speak hopefully about everything job, customers, manager, employees, children, health, and future. Go out of the way to talk optimistically about everything. Thanks. With regards. Open. Analytical Quality Assurance Manager. Or. Maria Wajme, Presentation, Sunani K. Lai, Opka Dani Awad, 